Today is not only the day we celebrate the marriage of Jeff and Carl, but it's also their 10th anniversary as a couple. So we're here to celebrate, to witness, to eat, to dance, to drink, to celebrate and be glad because my two nephews have found their soulmates. I wanted to start off by talking about when I first heard about Jeff. It was 4th of July weekend. We were in Bethany Beach. I was sharing a room with Carl and we were up night gabbing as we always do. And Carl says, are you dating anyone? And I said, eh, kind of. And I said, why are you? And he said, yes, I am. His name's Jeff. And I didn't really know what to think because Carl had never talked about a boyfriend before. So I said, well, tell me all about him. What is he like? And he said, he's great. He loves his family, he comes from a really great family. And I knew when he said that, that it was gonna be serious. And this guy, Jeff, could probably be around for a while. Well, that conversation was 10 years ago. representing their new family. On this day, you make a new life together, a new light together, symbolizing the two becoming one. May the lights of your own special lives continue to feed the new flame of love. I think the one quintessential virtue that drives Carl the most and has made him into the person he is, is love. And it's that great love that, which always leads him back to family. And Carl always will tell you that family comes number one. Which is why we're here today. Today is about Carl and Jeff, but it's about so much more. It's about two families coming together with love. And when you give love, it grows. And I have seen Carl grow so much since Jeff has been in his life. Now I'd like to invite Jeff's brother, Mike, to take these crowns and place them over the heads of Carl and Jeff. By Greek tradition, we witness these two grooms being crowned as the kings of their new family, entrusted by God with the authority to rule their family in faith and love and harmony with Christ. They both share in this responsibility and privilege as a newly married couple. O oh Lord our God, crown them with your glory and honor. Welcome to Anguilla and to our wedding weekend here at the Viceroy. So thank you everybody for being here. Um, it means the world to us. It's absolutely incredible. It's absolutely amazing to us that this is actually happening, that this whole idea of us getting married. Um, 
is um, is finally coming together and that you're all here. All my life I've waited for this moment now. In your eyes. So this weekend is all about enjoying Anguilla, enjoying the islands. We wanted to run through real quick about what to expect this weekend. So as a reminder, <laughs> Go to the website. Go to the website. <laughs> As a reminder, go to the website. <laughs> On behalf of Carl and myself, welcome and thank you everybody and please enjoy yourselves for our wedding weekend. Cheers! Good evening, everyone. So a few months ago, uh, to celebrate their new apartment, Carl and Jeff had a few of us over for dinner. And we sat down and we each found a little card next to our wine glasses in which they'd all written, uh, they'd both written a little affirmation for us all. Val got the sweetheart, Julie got the beauty, Jason was the party, Sean got the gluten-free and boy do we know about it. And I realized we actually never got a chance to toast you guys in the same way. So I asked everyone that was there that night to give me a word or two that felt important to them about you two. And here's what we came up with. Charismatic, distinguished. Carl is sweeter than his fondant and more hospitable than a hotelie. <laughs> Jeff, a guy that makes me feel like family and has made all of our lives in New York more colorful, hilarious, delicious, and adventurous. Jeff is the light of the party. He is generous, loyal, curious, funny, and good-hearted. Carl, the performer and the entertainer. Whether cooking up a storm in the kitchen or rocking out on stage, the spotlight follows Carl. Underneath his talent and charm, you'll find a sensitive and caring soul. He is energetic, thoughtful, passionate. Carl is a ray of light and Jeff is a rock. They are both totally quiche. <laughs> Carl and Jeff. You both come from such amazing families, and we are so lucky to have had some time to get to know them better this week. In New York, we are all pretty much transplants from somewhere, so our friends are our families. And you guys are truly the heart and soul of our New York family. You have both been there for us through so much, through breakups and makeups and why won't he text me back? <laughs> so it's a pretty widely known fact that the best marriage advice comes from single gay men in their mid-30s. But instead, I'm going to end with a quote from one of Carl's favorite writers, Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> Later that day, I got to thinking about relationships. <laughs> there are those that open you up to something new and exotic. Those that are old and familiar. Those that bring up lots of questions. Those that take you somewhere unexpected and those that bring you far from where you started and those that bring you back. But the most exciting, challenging, and significant relationship of all is the one that you have with yourself. And if you can find someone to love the you that you love, well, that's just fabulous. Carl and Jeff. Carl and Jeff, do you pledge to help each other to develop your hearts and minds, cultivating compassion, generosity, ethics, patience, enthusiasm, concentration, and wisdom as you age, and undergo the various ups and downs of life to transform them into the path of love, compassion, joy, and equanimity? We do. My vow to you, Jeff, is a series of promises. 
I promise to always live with the feelings we had 10 years ago. It's this spark that will keep our marriage exciting. I promise to encourage you, Jeff. I believe in you more than anything I could ever believe. You are a person of compassion and patience, hard work and dedication, loyalty and honesty, and I admire you. Carl, I know I'm a better person to everyone around me because of you. I look at the world around us, our friends, our families, and it's all better with us in it together. I found the person I want to grow old with, I want to travel the world with, and I want to be part of me, my life, my memory. I want you on my side and by my side for the rest of my life. Is the sunset going to be prettier because of the clouds? Yes! <laughs> hey, look at it. It's fine. It's going to be perfect. It's fine. I'm All excited right. to do this with you. I don't like being apart from you today. <sighs> Me neither. Oh, God. This is neat. All look right. this beautiful pool. We I know it's the spot here. we haven't been here. The spot we haven't been to. <laughs> <laughs> At a hotel right. four times. All right, we're going to go. Inside? Yeah.
my love and faithfulness. With all that I have and all that I am. With all that I have and all that I am. I place it on your finger. I place it on your finger. I commit my heart and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we speak today. And I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we speak today. There you go. Muscles. <laughs> and now, in this beautiful place, in this paradise, by the authority vested in me by the city of New York, I pronounce you a married couple. You may kiss your husband. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Carl and Jeff, a married couple.